more fun to hang with. Your main guy or your side guy. That's why you like half side. My side guy. Side nigga always. I don't have a side nigga, but my side nigga. I'm gonna say the side. The side guy for sure. Only because he makes me better than the main nigga, but we keep the main nigga for stability. Side guy, for sure. Definitely the side Okay, I feel comfortable with my man. He's gonna make sure I'm okay. But that side is gonna blow my mother again. Say, man, I'm telling y'all, bro, these women crazy as hell today, bro. This that straight up Neanderthal activity, bro. This is that undeveloped brain way of thinking, right? And I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, man. You know what's not helping it? All of the rappers like Meg The Stallion, Sexy Red, Ice Spice, they are the ones who is making it cool for these women to openly express their true feelings. Because back in the day, women used to cheat too. But the thing is this, no woman from the 80s or 90s would have got on camera and said this, dog. I'm keeping it real with y'all. They would have had sense enough to lot of us man to keep hope alive but hey when you got a culture that you know they sensationalize this stuff and they make it sound like it's the it thing to do then this is the result it is what it is this is why men are no longer wanting to be in these relationships with these women you cannot blame them why you make that face because you're not cute what the f you're not cute I damn you'd be cute so i'm ugly to you no just not my type that ain't no problem huh? that ain't no problem <laughs> so what's your type you're not really my type either. <laughs> Why you say that? Because I'm a little bit more masculine than you are. I'm stronger than you. You are? Yeah. Prove it. Let's arm wrestle. I know. <laughs> Wait, what? So this is the Badogi hot dog. They're actually so big here. The size of their wieners. Look, all right, let's go buy this. Man, back in the day, your wife just sucked the meanest. Well, I know you know you're a lucky man. Now that's too damn trifling. She over here deep throating glizzies in a public area. They got women and kids around, but you are talented, ma'am. Hi, I'm Kiko. I'm 23. Uh, I go to UCSB and I also bartend. My name is Optimus Prime. We are autonomous robotic organisms from the planet Cybertron. Man, you goddamn right. After I put it down, this is exactly how I'm gonna be. Roll the clip. Yo, wax. Yo, nigga, let me get some links with them grits, man. Hurry up. I'm hungry than a motherfucker out here. You ready for our new recording? I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know how I do anything wrong in the beat it. I don't get that. When all you do is criticize me. Oh, your head bogus and all this, 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 and that. Like, what the fuck? Come on now. Come on. See, bro, I don't give a damn what kind of day you having. If you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, I could give a damn, bro. You not finna be throwing my packages, man. These people got a compilation of you being negligent. You being a Dan, degenerate ass nigga. This is really that Neanderthal activity right here. Undeveloped brain. And she on the phone complaining to her man or to her girl, whoever it is, talking about you said the head bogus. It probably is, man, the attitude you got. We will miss her so much. <laughs> And she was so sweet. She was never angry. She was never mean. She always had a nice thing to say. Never negative. 
Baby, I don't care if I cussed you out an hour ago. If I text you what you doing, we ain't mad no more. You need to leave that dope alone. You haven't so he, he, he need to leave that dope alone. What you charging your phone for? Text all them girls? Who you trying to smell good for? Them girls? Who you playing that for? For some girl? What you out here thinking about? Some girls? Who you warming up food for? Some girl? Man, I could have told Buddy that was going to be a setup for real. He should have known damn well that that wasn't going to go the way he planned it. Women say one thing, but they act another way. I'm telling you. Don't listen to the words. Watch the actions, bro. Hey, baby. You need help or anything? Oh, no, baby. I'm good. Thank you. <sighs> Must be nice to be able to relax around here. I've been in the kitchen for 40 days and 40 nights, and I have not yet seen a comfortable cushion. I got my nails done, so who want they dick sucked? I mean, I mean if you're offering, I mean, like, I guess, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I guess I'm down. You out here offering those services and you expect dudes not to fall in your DM? You was crazy and you wildin' out. It don't work like that. But fellas, like I always tell you, man, her information right down on the screen. Go get you. Hey, Dad, I was thinking about getting Tinder. What do oh, you... No, no, Tinder's for rookies. Use Facebook Marketplace. What? How? No. Search wedding dresses. It'll give you all the recently divorced females in the area, and you can filter by size. Okay, after a certain age, coming outside to an event where you're all dressed up for and you have heels on with no makeup is unacceptable. I don't care how pretty you think you are with a bare face. We all think we're beautiful with a bare face, right? But it's a time and a place for a bare face. Not everywhere is bare face acceptable. Grow up, learn how to do makeup. And this is why I always tell people, learn how to do things early at a young age or you're gonna keep having to pay for things and you're gonna get tired of having to pay for services that you can do yourself. So learn how to do your makeup and avoid coming out to functions looking beautiful with the bare face. Now look, this is ridiculous, man. It's not that hard up to the point where you got to go somewhere with makeup on every single day. It just really speaks to how insecure you are with your real self. Bare face is beautiful and men can appreciate a woman who's doing it, man. We know she's confident in her own self. We know we got a real one when she ain't got to put on makeup all the damn time. And who are you to tell another grown ass woman what she's supposed to do and what's unacceptable? You ain't nobody. And it goes to show you that you don't have no real confidence because if you don't want to go anywhere without makeup, then you're not comfortable in your own skin which means you ain't ready for no relationship and you're not gonna add value to no man at all God damn right. I'm glad that baby not for him. You was too excited. You was too ready to reap the benefits and the rewards of this man who ain't even a damn father what he was going to provide. Nah, man, we ain't going for it, bro. I'm that boy Will and I'm running for president. Make mandatory DNA testing great again. You and make up quick. She gonna be okay. Everything gonna go away once she gets some You do shit on purpose. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Shit, any man will be lucky to come home if you busting it open like that. Golly, man. Fellas, I think she was pretending. I don't think she got no husband or nothing like this. Her information is on the screen. Go with your move. Just strap up because if she really doing that type of stuff, man, she gonna get you pregnant. <laughs> and I meant what I said. Men don't talk. And this is something that we have to look at. They're taught to be a man and internalize everything. And then on top of that, us women, we have never learned, we were never taught what it means to create that atmosphere for your man to open up himself to you. And so in times and moments where your man opens up himself to you, it's very hard for you to receive it. In fact, in a moment where you were upset at him, angry at him, mad at him, 
You use that information that he gave you, which was so sacred, against him. It was a slap to his face. And now you're asking yourself, why doesn't he talk? Why doesn't he want to speak to me? Why isn't he going the same way that he did before? So we have to learn how to create the atmosphere for a man to open up. Nah, she got it with this one, man. It's hard to open up to a lot of women, man. I would say a good nine out of ten of them ain't even worthy of you telling your deepest, darkest inner thoughts. Things in life. This is the best relationship advice, okay? Opening doors for your girl. There you go, babe. Telling her I love you. Giving her kisses in the morning. You know, stuff like that. Look, I only got three seconds. Do not ever get married. It's a waste of your time. All they do is steal your money, make you broke, and complain about every isn't that right babe you know he's got to be an amazing husband and just do little things right right i'm not joking i have asked the last three dudes i've dated for their bank account info on the first date i don't judge people's actions i look at the intention behind it so like why do you ask for that because i only want to date a wealthy guy that has money valid so you're getting straight to the point i think you know i have a job i'm very successful so i think i have every right to be like, hi, are we on the same level or where am I wasting my time? Nah, you crazy as hell, man. If a woman ever asked me to show her my damn uh, checking account first rip, man, that's nope, gold digger. I can't mess with you. I'm sorry. That's common sense, fella. Don't fall for this stuff, man. That the only reason people admire bodybuilders uh, who have built their body with muscle and not um, obese people who have built their body with eating huge amounts of food is because there's uh, prejudice against fat people. And so bodybuilding could benefit from including the non-competitive um, display of fat bodies alongside muscular ones. Well, most people who like bodybuilders understand that bodybuilders work hard. They have to live by a strict diet. Lifting weights is hard. You know, people respect that. Anything that's hard to get, people automatically place value on it because it's rare, right? Everybody ain't walking around looking jacked up and ripped and swole. So we know a lot of hard work was put in that gym and we also know a lot of sacrifices was made. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I don't you. feel comfortable. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I, you can call your sister. I tell you, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I need to go. You can stay. You want, I thought call, you want to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm going to walk my dogs with You're walking both the dogs. And talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable I feel right now. She's going to go to bed. It's well past her bedtime, and I hope she picks up. How are you going to... Like, I, I cannot. I cannot. I've, I've, you've known me for 11 years. I would never put my hands on you. I don't believe you. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very fucking uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I just, I, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look because I have nothing to hide. You're, you're you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever are, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a Then phone. just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am. and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. Liam, let's go right now. I made her cry. Yeah, because you're be you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're be because crying. you're doing something that's wrong. That's I'm why. If, if you, then that's let wrong. me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. Doing that's wrong, and the fact that you're, I can't. Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. It's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. Man, check this out, bro. Listen, bro. If you see smoke, usually there's a fire somewhere. She's cheating. She's texting another guy, whatever. You know what it is. You got to go with your move, man. Take your toy and go home, man. Straight up. Don't go back and forth with her. She's trying to play the victim. She's gaslighting. She's trying to say, I'm going to call my sister because I'm scared. Man, listen, bro. Your girl cheating on you, bro. I promise you. She's probably over there giving sloppy toppy to the random guy at work. It is what it is. We're going to switch it around a little bit. I'm giving you 30 seconds to tell me why I should pick you. So I'm going to go in an order. So the first girl, why should I pick you? Carmen. Because I'm the baddest bitch alive. Period. I'm the epitome of beauty, honey. I'm wifey. I do vibe with you. I'm like, um, I would look cute next to you, do you not think? The moment of truth, I gotta eliminate one of you. The girl I will be eliminating is Carmen. 
And the reason I'm eliminating you, Carmen, is yeah. you said you're the baddest girl in the UK, and I'm not even sure if you're the baddest in the room right now. Big man ting. Also, babe, babe. Big man ting. He so in the car shooting from the car, Megan. And so he in the car shooting from the car, Megan. He Alexi. is standing up over the window, okay. shooting. Uh -huh. This nigga in the back seat. I'll get out the car. I'm done arguing. I don't want to argue no more. I'll get out. I'm walking away. This nigga from out the back seat of the car starts shooting me. So in the car. If a woman don't walk in your crib and notice the things that you need, if she walk in your crib and your crib like disorganized and, and not clean a little bit and she don't clean your crib, she ain't the one for you. She is not the one. And she don't come in the crib and wash your clothes, fold your clothes. She is not feminine enough. She, I don't want her. If I'm sick and she can't tell me or try to heal me back to life with her affection, with her love, with tea, with food, I do not want her. She is she is not it. So we need to be conscious of what we bring, what we bring in our life. We need to be conscious of men and women. We need to be conscious of the people we bring in our life. This is just like a business. You wouldn't go into business with a lazy motherfucker. You wouldn't go into business with a person that's just giving half-ass work, half-ass energy, and you putting all the work in and, and both of y'all receiving the benefits. Why would you go into business with a person like that? Life is like that. You, we, we looking at life and partnership and relationships a little different. Or just because that person look good. Or just because the person's sex has, 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 they have bomb sex, bomb head. If a woman. First of all, common sense is this, right? When two people are trying to come together and form a, a union, they both have to add value to each other's life. It's really that simple, bro. A woman walk in your house and she sees some lacking and stuff after you didn't already pour it into her and she don't put no love and energy or resources into your house, bro. She don't really rock with you, bro. A girl who really fool with you, bro. You can have two or three dirty dishes that you ain't got to yet, man. She'll go over there and wash it for you. Real shit. Maybe you want some breakfast? What? Why are you doing that? Good game. You good? What? You straight? I'm straight too. Alright. What? Hi, babe. <gasps> Stay up, man. I don't care about slavery or the Holocaust. Oh, Mabel. <clears throat> All I know is I always love making my Clarence a plate. What's that, Grandma? Well, when we came up, it was different from the way it is now. When a black man went out into the world, they treated him like he wasn't a man. So the least I could do when Clarence came home was make him a plate. Make him feel like he was somebody. Let him know that somebody loved him even though the world didn't. See what I'm saying, bro? They be thinking it's shallow. They don't know that it's really deeper than that. Everything she said in this show was real. You know what I'm saying? Fix your dude a plate, man. It means more than that. It ain't just about the plate. It's a deeper, true meaning. That was today's segment of Positive Vibes, man. Let's get back on track, you feel me? Anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Send your clips to deadboyreacts at gmail.com, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.